Hi there. If you've watched our last video, this video is a continuation from where we ended last time. We will continue discussing about healthy habits you need to adopt in your 20s. Prioritize gut health. At this stage of life, many factors can affect the absorption of key nutrients, such as alcohol, certain medications, and an on-the-go eating style. People in their 20s are still setting up their bodies during this decade and all of the above can negatively impact their bone and gut health in the long term. Your gut health directly impacts how you look and feel every day. Often called the second brain, our gut is not only responsible for digestion and absorption, but it also affects immune function and mood. Creating a healthy environment is key to keeping your energy levels up and staying healthy. It also protects against a variety of chronic diseases and allergies, she says. Those in their 20s can guide themselves to a healthier gut by reaching for foods rich in probiotics like fermented veggies, kombucha, kimchi, and kefir, and incorporating healing foods like bone broth and healthy fats think avocado, olive oil, nuts, seeds, etc. There are billions of strains of bacteria, and we are still learning about the difference between them. If you're taking a probiotic supplement, look to rotate every quarter just like you would a pair of running sneakers. This generation has grown up around antimicrobial soaps, countertops, and the often inappropriate use of antibiotics, which can seriously deplete our gut microbiome, she says. Culturing the gut, or as I like to call it, rewilding, can be a game changer for your overall health but especially for digestion, skin, immunity, and mood. Within the first few weeks of rewilding, you'll begin to experience improved digestion from start to finish, a clearer and calmer mind, and your skin will begin to clear up and brighten, allergies will be put in check, and your immune system will strengthen. In more severe cases, eating probiotic-rich foods throughout the day or taking a good probiotic while also minimizing sugar and starch so that you can move into a lifetime of balance and maintenance. Eat a protein-rich breakfast. Did you skip your breakfast today? If you're nodding your head in agreement, you're not alone. Research suggests those in their 20s are the most likely to omit breakfast on any given day. I hear a slew of reasons about why someone may not eat breakfast, she says. Nausea, limited appetite, and lack of time are some of the top hitters. Breakfast literally means breaking the fast. Your metabolism slows down when you sleep so having a post-fast meal is key to revving it up again and maintaining a strong metabolism through the other decades. Not only that, but breakfast also positively impacts mental sharpness, exercise routine, and mood. The antidote. Have a breakfast rich in what I call the two Peter seconds, protein and produce, in the morning. This is when our blood sugar is the lowest. And don't break your fast with sugar. It can increase your hunger hormone ghrelin, which actually leads to increased hunger and blood sugar issues during the day. Protein will keep your appetite and energy consistent throughout the day, she says. Examples include eggs, full-fat plain yogurt, nut butter, and smoked salmon. Ditch fad dieting. With the onset of every new year comes a slew of different diets promising weight loss and improved health. But how many of you actually stick to them anyway? There's a reason why fad diets come and go and that's mostly because dieting doesn't work. An estimated 90% of people who lose weight gain it back and often add a few more pounds, she says. Point 5. Yo-yo dieting jeopardizes your metabolism and may even alter hunger and satiety hormones in a negative way. You're much better off choosing a Mediterranean-style diet. This includes plenty of colorful fruit and vegetables, healthy fats, like avocados, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and beans with smaller amounts of high-quality protein, like fish, organic, free-range chicken and eggs, and 100% grass-fed beef, bison, or lamb. Establish a fitness regime. Are you too busy to work out? Do you find yourself skipping the gym because you're too tired? Well, Celebrity nutritionist and registered dietitian Kerry Glassman of Nutritious Life says it's time to kick your fitness regime into gear before it's too late. Breaking a sweat takes work, no matter what your age. However, when it comes to making fitness a habit, the younger the better. The feeling of needing to get a workout into your day will already be a long ingrained practice by the time you hit the age of having children and responsibilities that involve juggling schedules other than your own. If you make it a habit in your 20s, then you'll already know the best way to get in an effective workout by the time you hit the age of wacky hormones and a slowed metabolism. If exercise doesn't come naturally, then join a group fitness class. 
Finding community can be challenging when you are working, searching for a job, or building a business, so use exercise as an opportunity to meet new and inspiring people in an active setting, she says. Whether you're in a boot camp class, a running club, or soul cycle, you can build community while burning calories one class at a time. Track your period. Do you know when you last had a period? If you're unsure, then it might be time to keep track of it in order to maintain optimal health. Your period is unique to you and therefore an indicator of hormone health and balance, says holistic nutritionist, health coach, and founder of Frolic and Flow, Carly Brauner. By tracking and observing your monthly cycle, you can learn a lot about what is going on in your body cycle. Regularity, length, color and texture of blood, as well as comfortability during menstruation are all things to note. A regular, painless period means aligned and healthy hormones. For ladies in their 20s, Brauner says a healthy period should come each month and last 4-7 to seven days. It shouldn't be brown and clotted, or extremely light or heavy, you shouldn't have to change your tampon 8 times during the workday, for example. Cramping should not be painful or prohibit you from leaving your couch, she says. Those who have periods that are never-ending, never come, cause severe pain, or are brown and clotted should consider trying to find the root cause. Irregular periods are often connected to low body fat, thyroid problems, stress, endometriosis, poor nutrition, the liver's inability to properly metabolize female hormones, PCOS, or autoimmunity.7. But there is good news, Brauner says it's totally possible to get back to a regular cycle and healthy flow. I recommend working with a functional medicine physician or holistically minded nutritionist, instead of a physician who just hands you over BC pills as the solution, to improve diet, stress management, add supplements, and make lifestyle changes to balance hormones, she says. Note, girls who have one or two, off, periods shouldn't worry. Think about the consistent characteristics of your flow, and use them as your guiding light. This information may not be as relevant to those on the BC pill because their period is regulated by outside hormones. Your cycle is a monthly update that lets you in on your personal health. For help tracking your flow keep a personal diary or download apps made specifically for tracking your period. Use your cycle as an opportunity to rest, slow down, and nourish yourself. In the days leading up, start to thin out your schedule. Minimize the number of meetings you take, social outings, and go really easy on exercise. Map out your month and plan out the big things to work around your monthly cycle. Slow down on your list of tasks so you can feel rejuvenated on the other side of your cycle and prevent burnout. Learn to cook a little. There's one health habit in your 20s that all our experts are unanimous on, and that's learning how to cook, even if it's just a little bit. There is an old saying, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime, or something like that, Shapiro says. In your 20s, you are social, working hard at your career, maybe getting romantically involved, or living on your own for the first time, and learning how to cook, even just scrambling eggs or making tuna salad, will not only keep you healthy but it will also save you money. It is easy to get delivery when you are tired or lazy, but if you know how to make a quick peanut butter sandwich, yes, I am calling that cooking, then you'll be better off. This is probably the single most important action you can take towards a healthier lifestyle, she says. It connects you to food and helps focus on the quality of ingredients. It also helps create control in a very unbalanced time. They can stock their own kitchens, cook the meals they want, and eat out when they choose. By learning to prepare quick and easy meals, it will instill food confidence and help them discover and develop their own positive habits. Knowing your way around the kitchen and being able to prepare delicious meals from scratch is, probably the most important skill for staying healthy. If you can grill a piece of fish, roast some vegetables, and cook up a pot of quinoa, you're golden. You'll be able to whip up something healthy, save major cash, and impress your friends with your signature chicken dish, not to mention watch your weight by cutting out all the calories that come with ordering in. Learning to cook well-balanced meals for yourself, I'm not talking defrosting frozen dinners, will help you develop healthy eating habits that will last long into your 30s. We thank you so much for watching. If you've liked the video give it a thumb up, don't forget to share with your friends. For more nutrition, health and beauty tips, please subscribe to our channel.